Let's open in a word of prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for the sunshine today, and pray also that you would cheer our hearts by your word, fill our hearts with your grace, your word and spirit through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may grow in faith and the knowledge of him. We pray this all in Jesus' name, amen. Well, welcome and good morning. Good to see you all here on this very cold day. <laughs> So good for you for coming. <laughs> um, do we have some announcements to share looking up at this week here? Um, you'll see our, a lot of our usual, thing, our usual weekly things, Bible studies and meetings throughout the week here. And then Saturday, two Saturdays from now, the 11th, uh, you'll see is our Valentine's Day event at 6 p.m. with a movie and ice cream sundaes, hot chocolate and coffee so a free event and just we do ask that you sign up to let us know uh so we have a, an estimate of how many people are coming so and then also you'll see some special announcements below there definitely want to point out uh to the birth of leighton charles who was born to charlie and becca gelhay am i pronouncing that right jalay not how i would pronounce that's why i asked <laughs> Jalay. Uh, so on the 23rd, um, born 5 pounds, 14 ounces, 20 inches long, and uh, parents are doing great. So we, I'm sure you, you probably saw the email announcement, but if you didn't, I want to say it again because we're all, we've been praying for them and rejoice with them that, uh, that Leighton's been born and is doing well. So, and uh, is there anything you'd add to that? He's amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And did she have to have a C-section? No, no. No. Hey, it's okay. It was a huge I meant to ask about that. To so. prayer. There was, Good. There was no C-section needed. Yeah. He's doing amazing, yeah. needing very little help, so trying to get him home. Yay. So we'll, con so we'll continue to pray for Leighton that uh, he can go home soon, but we pray praises of rejoicing that uh, Leighton was born healthy. So. Uh, and then coming up this coming Sunday is our youth, the youth winter retreat at the Ark. So the youth and myself and uh, Kay and Brennan will be going to that. And we will have seminary student Adam McCarlson. He will be here bringing us God's word next Sunday. Um, so, so welcome him well. <laughs> and I know he'll, I've talked with him and, and preparing what he's bringing. So I know it'll be a good word for everyone here. So then. We appreciate your prayers for myself and the youth that we have a uh, safe travel because, as usual, uh, this is going to be one of the coldest weekends of the winter. Uh, so, uh, and then also, if you, in case you didn't see the email, wanted to hear in the announcements that later in February, the 16th through the 27th, I will be gone. I am going on a trip to Israel through our college seminary, and um, so I'm really looking forward to that and I'll and I've already arranged who's going to be bringing the word here while I'm gone it'll be uh, missionary Andrew Olson and pastor Wayne Germstad will be bringing the message there so we'll, uh, including our Ash Wednesday service as well that starts that week so so I want you no one to be surprised when I am so yes I realize like wow I'm I'm like here one week in in February and <laughs> so um are there any other announcements? I have one other announcement, but I, I want to ask for others before we. So my other announcement here is that we need someone to sign up to be the serving team for February. We don't have anyone signed up for February to serve the, the coffee and donuts after in the fellowship hall after service. Uh, so please uh, sign up for that. And um, it, it's a not hard <laughs> it's a very simple thing here i mean because usually i i'm usually here i've already started the coffee so it's really it's just setting the donuts out on the trays and setting out the uh the lemonade and the um and uh, other beverages there for people and um i'm trying to remember does, does it involve picking up the donuts it does involve picking up the donuts okay so if you have questions about the when, where, how of going to pick up the donuts, we can, that is also pretty easy to, to set up. So that's an ongoing thing, a repeated uh, order. So that's also easy to go pick up, not far, but uh, will need to be picked up by whoever signs up for the serving team. So, okay, any other? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
So, and as I understand it, that we have asked people to sign up to be head usher on the wall, and the head usher is responsible for that month to just ask people on each Sunday to be usher, to be the ushers on those Sundays. So we don't have to have each individual usher assigned every single week. We just need one person to volunteer for that month to just be the guy who will ask people to usher <laughs> each week. Am I, um, am I, Leroy, am I explaining that well? Yeah, so that's, so when, so signing up to be an usher on the wall for, for a month, uh, you, you're just signing up to be the person to ask people, just make sure someone will be there to hand bulletins uh, and cl collect the offering. And, and lots of people are willing to do it if you ask them. You just need, we just need someone, to, we just need to make sure someone is making sure that they're there <laughs> and that someone's been asked that week. Um, so, but thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, we, it, we do need um, people each month. Uh, we need a man each month just to be, to, ask, to sign up to say, hey, I'll, I will be the, the head usher this month to, who will just make sure someone's there. So, other announcements? All right, well, let's open then with our call to worship. This is taken from Psalm 150, verses 1, 2, and 6. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty expanse. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord Praise the Lord. So, and now let's uh, sing together number, hymn number 503, Fight the Good Fight with All Thy Might. time we'll have our silent confession of sin and this is a time where in the silence of your heart praying to God you can consider your life in any ways that you have broken God's word sinned against him in either thought words and deeds attitudes actions or neglect um, and so we're take a time of silence prayer um, to confess your sins to God.
receive the declaration of grace. If this be your sincere confession, and if with penitent hearts you earnestly desire the forgiveness of your sins for the sake of Jesus Christ, God, according to his promise, forgives you all your sins by the authority of God's word and by the command of our Lord Jesus Christ. I declare to you that God, through his grace, has forgiven you all your sins. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I now invite uh, Ben Kimsel up to read scripture, and please stand. Hey, good morning. The Old Testament lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 51, verses 4 through 11. Give attention to me, my people, and give ear to me, my nation, for a law will go For a law will go out from me, and I will set my justice for a light to the peoples. My righteousness draws near, my salvation has gone out, and my arms will judge the peoples. The coastlands hope for me, and for my arm they wait. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look at the earth beneath. For the heavens vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a garment, and they who dwell in it will die, die in like manner. For my salvation will be forever, and my righteousness will never be dismayed. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear not the reproach of man, nor be dismayed at their revilings. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the worm will eat them like wool. But my righteousness will be forever, and my salvation to all generations. Awake, awake, put on strength. O arm of the Lord, awake as in days of old. Generations of long ago, was it not you who cut Rahab in pieces, who pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to pass over? And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing will f- shall flee away. The gospel lesson is taken from Matthew chapter 21, verses 18 through 22. In the morning, as he was returning to the city, he became hungry. And seeing a fig tree by the wayside, he went to it and found nothing on it but only leaves. And he said, he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again, and the fig tree withered at once. When the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How did the fig tree wither at once? And Jesus answered them, Truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. If you end the reading. Thank you for that reading. You may be seated. And I feel like I'm, I'm just going to add a little anecdotal, uh, helpful piece of information. In the book of Isaiah, when you see the name Rahab used, it is not talking about Rahab and Jericho. It is actually a, a pseudonym for the nation of Egypt. And so when you see, so that passage we just read there, we reference Rahab. He's actually talking about Egypt there. And that, and that that's, makes so much more sense when you realize he's talking about Egypt. Egypt. Now, why, how Rahab got to be a name used for Egypt in the book of Isaiah is a long academic study that I'm not going to talk about. Just, but it's a helpful point of information for you to know if you ever hear those verses Isaiah, and, and, and it's Isaiah particularly, but and the, the, that prophet there, um, and he uses it a lot, and it's helpful to see over and over again, like, oh, oh, this is Egypt. This is not the, the girl from the tower in Jericho and the story of the spies. It's a different reference. So um, there you go. Fun little anecdote for the day. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're coming to our time of prayer here. 